Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar and today we talk about NPER and rate function. First of all, we want to calculate time. In our first example, we want to calculate time. How long will it take for rupees 27,602.59 to amount to rupees 80,000 if it is invested at a rate of 12% compounded quarterly? In this example, amount 80,000, principal 27,602.59, Rate of interest 12% and M is 4 because interest compounded quarterly. We can calculate time using formula or using NPER function. First using formula equal log base 10 amount divide by principal divide by log base 10 1 plus Rate of interest divide by M and whole divide by M again, enter. Answer is 9 years. We can also calculate this time using NPER function. In NPER function, first we take rate, then we take PMT, periodical payment, which is not here, so that's why we take 0. PV, always remember PV stands for present value and always in negative. FV stands for future value and time rate to PMT. Now using NPER function equal NPER function rate 12 person divide by 4 comma because PMT is not here so 0 comma present value always in negative minus present value comma future value because time rate to PMT so PMT is not to leave it enter we get 36 36 periods because interest compounded quarterly so we have 36 quarters 36 quarter means 9 years or we can calculate with the help of this function plus formula equal NPER rate divide by M comma PMT is 0 comma minus present value comma amount comma leave the type and whole multiply by M sorry divide by M. Again, the answer is 9 years. Now we talk about how to calculate rate. In this example, at what annual rate of interest compounded quarterly, 27,602.59 will become 80,000 rupees in 9 years. Here, amount 80,000, principal 27,602.59, time 9 years, M is 4 because interest compounded quarterly. We can calculate rate using formula or using rate function. First formula equal amount divide by principal raised to the power 1 divide by m into d. minus 1 and this whole multiply by m and answer is 12 percent we can also calculate with the help of rate function in rate first we take NPR number of periods pmt in this question pmt is not so pmt is 0 P pv stand for present value always in negative future value amount and type always leave with the pmt so leave it now rate function equal rate m multiply by t comma pmt is 0 minus present value comma amount leave type enter answer is 3% rate per period is 3% 
because the interest compounded quarterly, the rate per quarter is 3% and we can say yearly is 12% just by just multiply by 4 or we can use this formula and function in combination equal rate number of periods are m multiply by t comma pmt is 0 minus present value amount leap type and multiply by m enter and we get the same answer 12 percent 